Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in front of the rocket stove, having my coffee with all of you. Um, it's fired up. I got about 16 eggs on it. I'm gonna have some. Papa's gonna get some, and the chickens are gonna get some. And this thing is just so wonderful. There's a few wild greens thrown in there, just because I had them. Man, this thing gets hot so quick, and it it just runs on twigs. Seriously. Little tiny twigs. These eggs are going to be delicious. And my chickens are going to love them. Papa's going to love them. Yeah, I think they're done. At least done enough. I'm going to put this lid on, remove it from the fire, pull those last little pieces out because I don't need to burn them, and let it cool off a little bit, and then have some breakfast. While it's finishing cooking and cooling down a little bit, I'm going to just sit here in the shade with Papa. <laughs> Yep, and um, oh here, I took some clips of what I worked on with kickstand last night. Here is kickstand. Look at that comb. Yeah, definitely a rooster. You can see where Beauty has been pecking at his head a little bit. So, I've gone ahead <laughs> and done his legs again. Just like I did before. Here, let me turn this around. It looks like this. No easy feet. This is about the way that I had it before. But, you know, it may only last a couple of days. We'll see. But I've got to do something because he, he's got to have something that can help keep this leg closer. So, sorry guy. I know. It was really hard doing this because he was wiggling around. But we got to figure something out for you, mister. You beautiful, beautiful baby. <laughs> Okay, big guy. Now this first time is, it's when I first put him down, it's the most painful to watch. Because until he gets his bearings, he just flops around. So, I'm going to give it a few minutes and see he, he immediately starts pecking at it. The other chickens will come over and start pecking at it too once they get used to it. They leave it alone. I'm sorry, guy. Let me put you closer to the water and the food. He's like, lady, don't bug me. There we go. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh my gosh. Go get yourself a drink of water. You look very thirsty. I need to change that water right now. And this morning, Beauty got to go back to her original group. Beauty is back with her original group. I feel so bad for that hen. First thing she wanted to do is take a dust bath. She had been in it for a few minutes until this one came. She's like, oh my gosh, finally a proper bath. I know the feeling, girlfriend. But she's getting around. As soon as I let her out, well, what I did is I let her into this yard first. And then I let the rest of the chickens out. This big guy here went over, got busy with her. And she sat, she went down low to the ground and just kind of accepted him. And as you can see, she's, look at that. I want you guys to see her walk. She's doing just really good. See that? He, he wants to get with her. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I'm not... Uh, let me just wake up, bro. <laughs> I'm glad. It looks like she's doing pretty good in this one. Roxy. She's become the queen bee. And she knows. Ro she knows that Roxy's going to do something. That's okay. Beauty can get away. Roxy, come on, girlfriend. She's had a hard month or two. So I'm going to leave them in the yard for a little bit so that she can kind of remember this is her crew before I let them out in free range. And I'll show you her walking a little bit later. Looky here. Yep, Leanne Perrin's barbecue sauce. I've just got like, oh, maybe a tablespoon left of it. And I can't find it in anywhere. Delicious. Let's see how these baby chicks like their breakfast. It's a feeding frenzy.
He's like, they take a bite and go run away. It's okay, babies. There's enough for everybody. <laughs> hey, babies. You can see some of them are getting their Easter egg or tufts around their ears. The leghorn, who used to be the biggest, all these other little Easter eggers are catching up in size. Enjoy, guys, girls. Just look how absolutely beautiful they are. Crazy chickens! Eat your nummies! Yep, Papa has already killed his. Alright, sweet babies. Let's give you your share. Come on, Kickstand, you can do it. He's struggling. Poor guy. Yeah, I don't I, I don't think I brought those two legs close enough together so I'm gonna have to adjust that today. Hey guy. I love it. Yeah, I'll work on that thing more today. Okay guys, you're next. There you go. Where's Beauty? Back there. I gotta get her out. Oh my goodness, girl. Yeah, I gotta block that space off because they get back there and they get stuck. Got her out, and that was no easy feat. I put her back in the nesting box. Several hens have already laid, so hopefully she'll figure it out. I brought her nesting box in here from the other coop because nobody's laying any eggs in that run and put some fresh bedding in it, so hopefully, I don't know, it'll seem familiar to her. She won't get so freaked out and try and get all the way back there because she was stuck. So hopefully she'll settle in okay. I'm going to let them out. A lot of them have laid their eggs. So hopefully kind of just hang out around here. Come on, Miss Beauty. Here, chicks. Here, chicks. Surely she'll remember how to get back, right? Good babies. Look at her. She looks like she's walking perfect, doesn't she? She's one big chicken. You pretty girl. I think she's probably pretty thrilled. See, look at that. She She's going to be just fine. She just ne needs to remember who her flock is. And she needs to remember how to get back. Right on, beauty. There you go. Get yourself some grub. Look who went back to the nesting box. I think she's going to lay an egg. Good girl, beauty. Beauty hopped off, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight laying hens. I've got eight eggs, so she did it. Good girl, Beauty. Good girl, the rest of you. And just in case you were wondering how much of that squash, see that? They go tinkle, tinkle. You know they're done when they make that tinkling sound, and they break apart pretty easy. They're t completely dry. So that's it. That is all that it is, but they expand back up. If you remember, if you go back and watch the video at how much I had on each of those trays, and I've just combined the yellow squash and the zucchini squash, but it stores in this little bit. So they say it's best to uh, put them in a smaller container at first um, with less air. Yeah, that's one of... Miss Mary's jalapeno jelly jars. I've cleaned it out. It doesn't have to be sterile for these, but I get them pretty gosh darn clean. This rim is a little bit dirty, but that's okay. 
So um, what I'll do is I'll just, next few days, I'll just shake it in case there's bigger parts or smaller parts, you know, that maybe I dehydrated a little bit differently. Just shake it just to kind of condition them, I guess they call it, redistribute them. And once I get enough to fill this jar, well, then I'll start a bigger jar. And then hopefully by the end of the season, I'll have a big, huge jar of dehydrated summer squash that I can put in soups and stews, and I could even bake with it once I rehydrate it. I am so, so stoked over this solar dehydrator. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.